Remember that scene in Jurassic Park? Nope, not that one. Or that one. Classic. But no. Okay, well, obviously that scene absolutely slaps, but not that one either. It's this one. The one where our heroes are treated to an explainer of how scientists were able to bring back dinosaurs by altering their genes and filling in missing sequences. But it also serves as a quick explainer on the very real scientific concept of gene therapy. While something as old as T-Rex isn't likely, gene therapy is on the brink of bringing back more recently extinct animals like the dodo and woolly mammoth. But it also holds serious promise as the key to extending our own lives. In 1900, average human life expectancy was 32 years old. By 2021, that number had almost doubled to 71 years old worldwide. Scientific advancements in medicine, nutrition, and living standards all helped to both drastically decrease infant mortality while increasing adult lifespan. So what's the next step in maximizing the potential of the human lifespan? And can we ever reach triple digits as a worldwide average? Enter Peter Diamandis. He's the founder and chairman of XPRIZE, a nonprofit organization which hosts public competitions to encourage tech development. Today, for every year that you're alive, science is extending your lifespan for about an additional quarter to a third of a year. The question ultimately is when are we going to reach this thing called longevity escape velocity? Right. There's going to be a point that for every year that you're alive, science is going to add more than a year to your life. Ray Kurzweil believes 10 to 12 years, George Church, 15 to 20 years. So someone who's 50 today is likely to intercept all the breakthroughs that will give them an additional 30 years at a minimum. There's no reason not to make it well past 100. Rather than going after one disease at a time and having one type of science aimed at trying to cure cancer and another aimed at diabetes, if we actually could reverse or slow aging, we could basically eliminate diseases or at least postpone diseases across the board.